The moment all of us are waiting for is here with us. The countdown is over. The predictions are over. And this is the moment. Akago! Akago! Chevule! Mimana Mane! Akat Sayo! But I can't care to say of rising South African promotions. Road to Vegas, Ghana Boxing Authority, we are here tonight for the main event of the evening. And this is the WBO International Championship Final Eliminator. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live on Coastal Sports, and this is the moment we are waiting for. Now, quickly, let me acknowledge our sponsors, before we can move on, let's move on to Mercedes-Benz, Campesque Hotel, Crystal Capital, Stambeck Bank, DDP, Switches and Print, TV Gold, Radio Gold, Freight Consult, Vanguard Insurance, GQ Group of Companies, under the leadership of lawyer Elias Kwame Kwashiga, Wilcado Result, Supreme Group of Companies, AY Clothing, Uncle Tamalt, and Crazy Sports. Now, officials for this bout. Judge one, Dion Duarte from South Africa. Judge two, Roger Bano from Ghana, the SWAG 2016 Best Referee of the Year. Now, Judge three, Patrick Nkondiwa from Zimbabwe. And the man, when the bell rings, who takes off this fight is the renowned, legendary boxing referee born in Brooklyn, but now live in Las Vegas, presenting to you the referee, Tony Wicks. Now introducing the boxer, fighting out from the blue corner, from Mendoza in Argentina, with the weights that he came into the fight tonight, listen, gentlemen, 121.2 pounds, and this is a boxer who was born by a boxer. Today is here to exhibit some of the qualities that he has learned from his dad. Now let's look at the records. 29 fights, he has lost three, he has drawn one, he has won. 25 of those, seven of those wins came by way of knockout so far. 165 rounds of boxing, 24 equipped of knockout. This is a boxer, a former WBC Latino Super Flyweight Champion, a former South American Bantamweight Champion, currently WBC Latino Super Bantamweight Champion. He made his debut in 2004. Presenting to you the boxer, Javier Castipita Chacon. Now his opponent is the champ fighting out from the red corner with the official record of 16 fights, no defeats, no draw, 16 wins, 10 of those wins came by way of knockout, ladies and gentlemen. So far, 87 rounds of boxing, 63% of knockout. This is a boxer who represented Ghana in 2012 Summer Olympic Games in London at the age of 17, the former West African Boxing Union 
featherweight champion, the former WBC youth silver featherweight champion, WBO oriental featherweight champion, WBO African featherweight champion, presenting to you the boxer Isaac, the Royal Storm, the And now we invite Tony Wicks to interact with the two boxes. Okay, gentlemen, caballeros, you already received your instructions. Usted recibió instrucciones. Mira, aquí está bien, aquí no. Right here is good, anything less low. Aquí está bien, aquí no. Right here is good, anything less low. I want a good, clean fight. Yo quiero una play limpia. Obey my commands at all times, above all, protect yourselves at all times. Escúchame, cuídate, listos, ready, let's go. for action the moment we've all been waiting for is here it's a WBO super bantamweight international WBO international super bantamweight title here at stake and it's Isaac, Isaac Dugway from Ghana against Javier Chacon from Argentina we've talked about the two boxes their record so far with an unblemished record of 16 fights no defeats but that's Dugway who is starting sproutly here at the Bukum Boxing Arena. Go start. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a nice day for Ghana to have as a Dogbe in the ring now, trying to prove what he has been promising all Ghanaians now. You know, that was quick one, quick, quick combinations there from Dogbe and goes in again, trying to drop the right and he drops it overhead. And Chacon taking it easy and slowly trying to assess his opponents properly. Good start from Dugwin. Um, the same, some see the way the fight is going. Chacon has to be serious and take this fight if he really comes in to win this uh, this title fight. You know, he's not impressed me in the opening round so far after. Because you can see how as the Dugwin is looking aggressive and, I mean, the fresh boy between the two. Dogwe now connecting with the right, the left jab, but to the close up from Chakon. Chakon not dropping his gas at all. Gossi now with a you know, powerful left hook. Now Chakon will try to work on the body. This and is the spirit that I was talking about. You can see, he can see Isaac and he can avoid him when he wants to avoid him. So this is where Isaac also have to be careful. And Three-time world champion Professor Azuma Nelson has advice. You know, Dogbe, he gave that advice to him not to rush his opponent, take his time, steady him, and then drop the knockouts. Yeah, no good advice from the champ. Yeah, that, that's a good advice because I just you know see like everything is the way he thinks, but he have to take anything so serious. But well, somebody can just come in and give you a surprise. No, so Dogbe connecting out. with the right though, it's a powerful one, and connects again to the ribs now. Trying to open up the defensive parsimony of Chakon. Chakon now backpedaling. And Dugwe just going in strongly there once again. He knows what is at stake, what this fight will do to his reputation in this sport. And it's just an overhead one from a right one, powerful one from Dugwe. And Chakon is inviting Dogwe to get a team. <laughs> you know, what's that supposed to mean, Carl? Chakon has some kind of belief in him. Chakon knows what he's doing. So you can see whatever Isaiah is doing to him, he still have the courage to stay in there. Good run and a front one. Good fight from the two boxes. Yeah, that's a good run. Thank you. 
this was um, Dugwe coming in, trying to surprise Chakon. Round two of the 12th year at the Bukum Boxing Arena. It's Isaac Dugwe from Ghana against Javier Chacon from Argentina. The last time we heard of an Argentine boxer making an impact in world boxing was Marcos Maidana against Floyd Mayweather Jr. And it's Dugwe now. Trying to work upstairs, Dugwe. Good body shot there from Dugwe. I, I can see Dugwe trying to go to the middle. And he goes follow up. You know, flurry of punches landing as well. And that's Dugwe working on the ribs, goes upstairs. And Chacon is helpless. He's not throwing a punch. Chacon. And he's counting so much on his defensive style. Is he a defensive boxer? Yeah, he is, he is. I mean, you can see how Chakon is taking the punches and he's still not showing any bad sign. Tells you, you know what he's doing. So like I said, Isaiah just has to be careful and know what he's doing because he get the energy to do it, but he should not get a surprise point from Chakon. And we're still taking the same Chakon replying, getting back and we're working from the inside now. You know what, the left jab, another jab trying to open up the defense of Chakon goes in with some body shot, quick one. And there was beautiful combinations there from Dugwe. Chakon still throwing few punches and that could go against him. He has to be aggressive against the champion. And Dugwe still working. You know, trying to work his way out. Good aggressive, you know, display there from Dugwe and the punches are also accurate from Isaac Dogbe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Isaac Dogbe has a chance and he's doing a good job. He should not go wild, he should just take his time and he'll take him out. I, I can see him working better than what he's doing. You know, Dogbe last fought, you know, some seven months ago in December when he was in New Zealand and that was when he won the title and he managed to defeat Julian Evaristo Aris, Aris Tule at the Sports Arena in New Zealand and today he's defending that title and goes in again, Ace Dogwe now following up with punches but missing Chacon is experienced but as I said already so he can avoid some of the punches coming from Isaac so Isaac just have to know when and where he have to throw his punches and just to not give a chance and that was a good one you know from Dogwe straight to the face of Chacon Chacon might have felt it Good jobs there from Dogbe again, but That's a quick reply from Chakon. Hey, hey. An experience, one. and he got the last shot. This is what I'm talking about. So Isaac should be just on time and careful, and he will, he will pass through. On three of the 12th year WBO International Super Bantamweight title. Isaac Dogwe from Ghana versus Javier Chacon from Argentina. Chacon looks like he's dropped his footing. You know, Dogwe shouldn't be overly complacent because we saw Obodai Sai lost in the WBO Africa middleweight title and also the vacant IBF 
Continental Africa middleweight title here against Walter Carlton Dokwa. And good one there from Dogwe. Dogwe going in, pressuring his man. Goes in again. And quickly he allowed Chakon to recover. Chakon not in business in this round three at all. You can see, you can see that. Um, Isaac is always on top. He's always on top. The three rounds so far, the first two rounds have gone for Isaac already. And I can see the third round also going for Isaac. Chakon trying to hit Isaac, but Isaac made him miss. He comes in once again. Dogwe with a shoulder style, shoulder defense. Reminds you so much of those defensive nice boxes. One, nice one, nice one from Dogwe. And Dogwe coming in with combinations, you know, triple shots, and that was good enough. And all on target, accurate, flurry of punches coming in there from Dogwe. Good ones to destabilize Chakon. Chakon tries to respond, but uh, that was some um, feeble. And inaccurate. It's Dogbe once again on the attack. Going in. And why did he decide to stop? Yeah, yeah, he decided to stop because he don't know what, what is coming back to him. And he was not getting the target. So he have to just draw back and come in again. That's like he's doing now. Dogbe trying to work his way upstairs. You know, with the hand speed, he's got very, very quick hand speed there and he's beginning to tell. And you can see once again, overhead and then a left hook. He's, 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 doing, he's doing what I have to do. Talking about Isaac Dogby, he's doing well. He's doing well. I'm just saying that you just have to know, throw some kind of wild punches and just be focused. And that's it. And Chakon, this time he caught Dogby and Dogby, you know, dropped the right hand. But couldn't find Chakon. Chakon still standing, you know, strong and trying to drop the right hand. And all boxers have got venomous right hands, and that's Chakon Whoa. with his experience. End of round three. Gradually hitting halfway stage of this WBO International Super Bantamweight Championship fight. And it's Dugby attacking. Still going in strongly. He's got a man in the corner. And it's Dugby. Goes in once again. Works upstairs. Drops the right hand with a left hook. But still cannot flow. Chakon. He should take his time. He should take his because he has the chance of winning this fight. I don't see the reason why he has to start going in wild at this stage. This is just a four round. He should take his time and he will win the fight. Carl Loco worked with so many boxers. With Richard Comey being the latest, he worked with and also has got influence in local boxing as well. Yeah, I, I, I have the trust in, in Dogby. I don't want him to use the energy, then when the fight starts changing, then it will be like he have to start defending. No, he should focus and he'll win the fight. And you can see blood oozing. That's on the left eye of uh, Chakon. Chakon taking a punishment and it's Chakon. And he's still not drop, and he's strong. 
He says, come at me. Dogbe goes in again with the combinations. It's Dogbe now. Dropping the left. And he looks like he's run out of steel. Isaac Dogbe. And Chakon has lost his bearing in this round. He's taking all the punishment. Is he a strategy? Could that be part of his strategy? This is what I'm saying that he knows Isaac is very sharp, he's strong, he's a young one. So what he have to do, he have to soak the energy, uh, soak the pressure, then middle part of the round. If the, he's got some energy there, then he'll come back to Isaac. He's doing now dominating the round. Still unleashing some shots there. We've got less than 59 seconds with this fourth round. And it looks like Dubi has done enough to win this round already. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. He has done enough to win this round and he's winning. This is what I'm saying, that you just be, be careful and just score the points. Just win the round by round. And when the time comes, Chakon can stop by himself. Less than 38 seconds. It's Isaac Dubi and Chakon. Dubi goes in once again. And Chakon trying to fight back but then couldn't get those punches on the body of um, Isaac Dogbe and he dropped the left one and it's Chakon now with his experience trying to punish Dogbe. Dogbe has got his back against the rope and he replies and that's left Chakon wobbling and goes in once again, Chakon. That was a good right one from Dogbe. And Chakon still fighting back, not giving up at all. End of round four, full of action, and this is the best we've seen so far in this WBO International Super Bantamweight title fight. Five, and there's no doubt that Isaac Dogbe will be leading on the, the score counts of all three judges. He's done enough. Chakon has not really come into this fight. Occasionally he's popped up with his experience, but it's been all about Isaac Dogbe dictating the pace and dominating his opponent with some violent combinations. I don't see I don't see Chakon um, I'm winning this fight, but if you have to win, then you have to you have to knock Isaac Dogbe out. And I don't see that happening. But all the same, Isaac should be just careful and just score the point. He can win by round. He, all he needs is to win the fight. He doesn't need to prove a point by stopping Chakon. He has to just win the fight for us. And that's it. Chakon dropping his gas and taking punishment from Isaac Dogbe. Dogbe wants to be sure, you know, the punches is landing. He's thrown more punches than his opponent Chakon and also more half landed and there he goes waking upstairs That's and it's that way again trying to move away from the ropes and gets to the center of the ring now goes in with the right and left and a reply from Chakon with his left hook and he missed Good work. And the last time he fought was back in April, Chakon, but he's not looked, you know, sharper than Isaac Dogbe. Is it because of the age? Um, he, he, yes, the age also, the age also count. And you can see Chakon is a fighter, so he always walk onto Isaac. He can receive before he will throw, but all the time Isaac have to be the first one. All the time Isaac leave him there, then come back again. 
He just, just coming, just coming, keep coming. You know, he's a strong world character. Javier Chacon, he's got a good chin and able to take the punches of Isaac Dogway. Dogway moving away from the middle, now getting to the ropes. And Chacon has showed very little danger in attacking and making him feel very, very comfortable, you know, getting to the ropes. The still is trying to dominate his opponent, but Chakon is coming back into this round. Less than 10 seconds left. Dogwe goes in with an overhead right. Good one there from Dogwe. Combinations also to the face of Chakon. Dominates Chakon That's again. That's the best thing to do for Maisie. That's the best thing to do for Maisie. You don't need to waste any energy. Just score your points and that's it. End of round five. We're back at halfway stage of this world title fight. It's round six. And without a doubt, Dogbe is leading. Isaac Dogbe now surging forward and trying to get his um, box open and pinned down. Chacon from Argentina. Now getting back. And Dogwe trying to work on the rib cage and doing that neatly there and getting him disfigured. And it's Isaac Dogwe trying to pummel his opponent. And Chakon with his back against the ropes. Chakon is against the ropes. Chakon taking the punishment. For how long will this continue from Javier Chakon? He's a experienced boxer. So He's taking the punishment, but he's still trying to stay to continue the fight. And it's still so, Dogway now. That's it. Trying to open up the defense of um, Javier Chacon. And Chacon still looking strong and attacking Dogway. But Dogway quickly will shuttle that's it. That's the footwork has been excellent from Dogway. Brian his tactics. Good body shot there from Chacon. Sent Dogway back. Dogway against the rope. He needs to move away. And there you see Chakon inviting Dogway to literally get at him. Uh, you think seven months of uh, inactivity has affected Isaac Dogway? The last time he boxed was no, somewhere no, no, in, in no. December. No, I've not affected him because I remember after his fight, with some few times, he got back to the gym again because he knows anything can happen. So he has been training well, so that, that have not affected him at all. You can see in the ring now, he has the energy, he has the ability to do it. So he can just relax and take his time and just win the fight. Less than 37 seconds now. Dogwe is still dominating his challenger here at the Bukum Boxing Arena. And that's Chakon 
this time around, taking the initiative to attack Dogway. But Dogway has been swift and been swerving. But this one landed. It was a good left one there from Chakon. Dogway goes in again. And Chakon again. Did he slip? He was waiting for the referee to come to his rescue, but that's the end yeah. of round six. That was a little bit crushed. That was a little bit crushed by the legs. So it's all over here. We thought we were going to see the full distance of this world title fight, but Javier Chacon retired on his stool and couldn't continue. So Isaac Dogway, 22 years of age, has increased his record to 17 fights and 17 and 0. He goes on to defend his WBO International Super Bantamweight title he won back in December against Julian Evaristo in New Zealand. And it looks like Javier Chacon suffered a broken arm and said he couldn't continue. We are by ringside. Carl Loco, what normally goes into such decisions if your boxer says he can't continue? Yeah, that means it's, it, I mean, he has been receiving the punishment for long and, and, and he can't endure it anymore. And that is why he would, your boss will tell you that I don't think I can take it anymore. And when it comes to that, you have to assess your boss and see whether he's taking the punches or not. If he's taking the punches and say no, you just have to allow him. This is what I was saying from the beginning that I said I have a chance of winning. He should not rush, he should take his time, and Chakon will stop when the time comes. And, and that's it. You know, buddy. It's fair to say, Dogbe really deserved this one. He dominated right from round one, and he won. You know, I think, you know, on, on the scorecards of all the judges, you know, he had won, you know, six straight, you know, all 10-9, 10-9, 10-9, in all the, the rounds we saw. He did well, you know, with his speed, with his footwork, you know, with his jabs, you know, his, his combinations were spot on. He landed accurate punches. He threw more punches, although he was a champion. You know, he had a lot of um, aggression inside the ring, and that's good, you know, for a titleist and good to retain the title. Yeah, he has done a good job. Um, like I said, before the fight, I know, and I said, Isaac is going to be um, the aggressive, the strong. The, I mean, he's, he's the youngest one, so he's going to prove something. And I said it here. And Isaac have won, I'm not surprised because he deserves to win. My only problem is a little bit wild. This is where I was coming from. Because I know Isaac was giving some punishment to Chaco. And, and that's the end of the fight. Chaco couldn't could not continue. And that's Isaac Dogbe trying to sing along what the fans are saying.
So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Let me quickly acknowledge our sponsors, Mercedes-Benz, Kempinski Hotel, Kresa Capital, Stambeck Bank, DDP, Stitch and Prince, TV Gold, Radio Gold, Fred Consult, Vanguard Insurance, GQ Group of Companies, Ricardo Resort, Supreme Group of Companies, AY Clothing, Uncle Team Out and Quasi Sports. Ladies and gentlemen, now we have the verdict. A boxer will be traveling to Las Vegas for the much anticipated world title shot. So the verdict we have here, ladies and gentlemen, what we can say, and still the WBO international champion he has done it in round number five, round number six, by a technical knockout due to Hand Hendry. Presenting to you the boxer, who is also known to be called the Royal Storm, Isaac Dogbe! Congratulations. Now the crowning moment. We have His Excellency, the former president is here, and we have the GVA officials. We also have the referee who has done a great job today, Tony Wicks. Congratulations. Now Isaac, congratulations.